My father knows that my mother is abusive and me cause. But my mother denies that. My mother calls my father an abuser, but he denies that. Mick was an abuser, and uh, no one's speaking about that. Well, so are, but uh, not anyone involved, which is quite perplexing. I'm being stalked, and she's saying I'm stalking her. I reported abuse, and I'm being called abusive. Jean is being abused, but no one's believing it. Except all her friends and everyone who's seen her and knows what she's going through and heard the phone calls. Isn't the world strange? Isn't it back to front? No one likes being called an abuser and they deny it completely. Even if it involves denying a whole past history. My mother was neglecting, emotionally abusive and violent. But she cannot face that because it hurts her too much. <coughs> My father is incapable of love or help or care. And because he's incapable, he can't see that he's incapable. My brother's the best father anyone could be. William. But he's a shit brother. And allowed me to be abused by Mick. Not, he didn't know anything about the sexual nature, but... He knew about the violence, but refused to help a suffering child, as I was at the time. My other brother's just absent. Willie's too, but at least I know he's in Hampshire. But um, even if he was in the same room, we'd feel separate. I've accepted what Mick's done and dealt with it years ago. I accepted what my mum did, but she continued to do it. And. Um, I had to accept that daily. I don't accept Jean being abused. She's had enough in her life of the abusive nature that she doesn't need it at 89. But when people are in the twilight of their life, they're often ignored because they are old and forgettable. Abuse is not forgettable. It is destructive. It destroys the soul. The soul can recover, but abuse destroys the soul. It is easier to endure the abuse than to be denied it ever happened. That is more wounding than the abuse because the abuse is physical the denial is mental and I can't see how people cannot um, accept that uh, mental cruelty is worse than physical cruelty 
and it is so normalized because we only act on our learned emotion that it um, we teach what we were learn you know taught we we teach what we were taught i was taught shouting and losing my temper and drugs but um, and drink and i conquered all that i don't have any anger now I have frustration with my father because he is such a coward. I have frustration with my mother and I have for a very long time because of her denial and she cannot do any wrong. I don't have frustration or anger over anyone else. I have hurt over other people what they've done. People who you once cared for and called friends, family. That isn't frustrating, it's hurtful. But how do you know joy when you have not known sorrow? When you've not known suffering, how does one know joy? Half the time suffering often brings joy to those who give it out and uh, the people who get it and defy it, it brings them joy too so I can't say I'm joyless life is a beautiful thing and life is suffering my whole life has been suffering and it's taught me everything I know it's taught me empathy and I've only just learned recently that uh, not everyone has empathy everything I've done lately hasn't been in malice it's been in self-defense and my freedom of speech that one should not have to endure such a terror as I have. I shouldn't have endured my childhood, how it happened, how it was, but I had no choice. A child has no choice except to stay or run away. I had separation anxiety from my mother because of her suicide attempt. So I only just managed to get away and it was only because her abuse got so bad her denial got the ultimate I've ever known it just to protect a memory and a false dignity Michael was a better father than my father he was also more abusive and in many different ways I do forgive him but I shall never forget what he did to me but I've uh, I've been cruel to people in the past never abusive but cruel to my abusers in rare shots of um, defiance strength found either as a child, a teenager or an adult it would madden most people being called insane for 73 days but I seem to have done it quite well. I think I've maddened people with uh, my perceived madness, which is actually honesty. But I suppose you have to be slightly mad in the modern world, to be honest. I'm not perfect. 
compact and very imperfect but I love very much and I really hate in fact I try not to hate nowadays and I don't hate anyone but um, forgiveness comes in tides, it goes out, it comes in sometimes I don't feel very forgiving other times I, I have no other choice what is life all about? I ask after 73 days of a hate attack for opening my big trap that no one likes because it speaks so much I've tried to teach anti-hate to family members for years I've also tried to teach that the past is easily conquerable and you can transform but people are happy with what they've got even if it's suffering and anger and resentment resentment is a terrible thing resentment I do resent being uh, wrongly put in hospital and I also resent my parents being how they were when I was a kid and then separating and being even worse separately I always wanted a son in fact I wanted two sons and a daughter Thackeray Arduin and I never came up with the other one As a gay man, there's not much hope of uh, having a family, and when you're an asexual gay man, it's uh, almost impossible. And I'd be a lousy father anyway, because I'd repeat what I was taught. I'd be too tyrannical, and I'd be. I'd have high standards and um, I'd be too strict I wouldn't be harmful never never physically violent but I'd, I'd be um, I'd be old fashioned and I think that's why people don't like me because I'm so fucking old fashioned they think I'm an ancient Russian <laughs> which is uh, it's not amusing at all but I'm perplexed that people who know me, friends, have been so lied to. Because they all know I'm imperfect. But so are they. And I tell you what, if this happened to them, they wouldn't be making a video like this. I've lost my peacefulness at times lately and uh, I'm upset about that that I've, I've, I've had to be put in a situation where I've had to lose my peacefulness because if I'd gone and sat here talking shit and peace I wouldn't have uh, I would have been definitely called mad but I've been called mad now but not as mad as I was before at least I've got conviction All I desire to do every day is look after people. Look after people and create things. I don't want to do anything else. I never want to. If I have a drink, that makes me upset. And that's why I haven't for a long time. I don't desire anything except peacefulness 
and it is upsetting that my desire for peacefulness is seen as destructive but how I look at it, ignorance is as bad as hate but oft often ignorance does uh, create hate, it turns into hate and hurting can turn into hate, love can turn into hate everything so easily turned into hate that peace doesn't often exist but it should naturally acceptance creates peace acceptance of righteous thought, what is, what should be how things really are I know a woman is abused in there but people's ignorance has created hate towards her the only person who knows I'm suffering is me so when no one else feels it how can anyone else understand or accept that's how I feel I don't find it hard to understand if a woman has lied in a police statement about childhood, my childhood, and lied in another statement about uh, ex excessive violence. Anger and shouting and teaching. trying to teach, trying to explain that you cannot deny any longer and when someone turns around and says you cannot go around changing things in other people's lives that really does take the piss even people who see abuse online they pretend they haven't seen it if he's had any glimpse of being true and the truth was I was having a lovely day in Portsmouth travelled to Portsmouth, very lovely I like being on the boat I like being on water and I got to Portsmouth, very happy, very social very calm wrote some music on my travelling guitar had many conversations, lovely conversations and then suddenly someone calls me mad online which is rather irritating but I ignored it but questioned why and I defended myself rationally I could not understand it but when I realised what it was about I did it's about my big mouth but never mind some people are liars and some people tell the truth and often liars are more digestible than uh, the truth and the truth is a very dangerous thing it's sharper than a knife and it's crueler than any old witch I'm not easily humiliated not anymore but um, I was I was humiliated and I'm being humiliated but you can only feel the emotion of absolute horror for a few days and after 73 days I, I've accepted it and found peacefulness and I'm dealing with it creatively to teach because people can't go around stalking and they can't go around abusing and they can't be ringing 89 year olds up and uh, asking for sex between 1 and 6 in the morning but these things do happen and it does break peacefulness because it destroys destroys any thought of normality and that's all I desire normality but I've never had it and so my family have never had it so I'm sure that's why they can't accept that uh, they're all not normal and this situation isn't normal <laughs> and actually I'm the sanest one out the whole family I'm more colourful than everyone else as well I'm more eccentric but I'm the sanest 
and I think my uh, artistic temperament, my creativity, my intelligence have been made into madness, which isn't a definition of madness. Denial, emotional neglect, emotional abuse, and uh, committing suicide in front of your six-year-old son is that is absolutely insane because there was no thought for me none at all there was no thought whatsoever and when you are so self-obsessed that you do that to a child it is, it is terrible I love aspects of people and I love the honesty when they're not perfect. It shows humility with the self, acceptance, and they get better by being happier, accepting it. I remain defiant because I have no choice. I have to follow a path of of what's right, what's true. I don't belong to this uh, modern society that uh, bases itself on opinion. The truth is an opinion. Opinion is just an egotistical thought with a lot of misunderstanding. Truth is, is brighter than anything, but only magpies can see it. I think. <laughs> Little joke there. I think everyone needs to just get on with their own lives and um, stop abusing me because you think I'm dangerous. And I am dangerous because I talk and talk and talk and I, I, I refuse to have my mind swayed by opinion. Let's make life perfect. And when life's perfect, we have no other choice to put it be on imperfect because the world's so perfect and that is how it should be imperfect people trying to be like the perfect world but they think they're perfect and try to make the world as perfect as them and make it imperfect but never mind that's the tragedy of life good night that's the artist's thought tonight